This is the only agent marketplace that comes with hundreds of agents on which you can build automations using their agent workflow builder. You don't have to write a single line of code, yet you can have production level automations running on top of this particular platform. Thanks to On Demand for sponsoring this video and everybody who signs up through the link here will get $150. So if you are watching this video, I would strongly encourage you to pause the video, go claim your $150. And the best part here is that they are also going to enable a monetization platform where you can publish your own agent and when somebody uses it, you're going to get a revenue sharing of it. This is something OpenAI Promise never did it, but On Demand is trying to do that for you. So this is truly the app store moment of agents where you can build agents, use agents, build automation on top of agents, make money through agents, everything in a single platform. So I'm going to show you every single thing. I've built a very simple Amazon shopping agent. I'm going to give a very simple condition and I'm expecting it to fulfill it for me. So what is the condition? I've said find five smartphones below 1000 dirhams. I'm going to just say find five Samsung smartphones below 1000 dirhams and just randomly using dirhams. You can use any currency you want. I'm going to run this. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to go to Amazon, do the research for me, find five smartphones send the link back to me using this email and all these things are designed here in a very comfy ui type workflow or also if you have used flowwise or langflow this particular interface would be very familiar to you and as you can see here the node has started getting executed so i've got a gpt4 o gpt4 turbo in this particular case to do the uh, communication part for me the agent is in the middle and the llm here is the GPT-40 Turbo and then once the output is ready, the output will be automatically emailed to me. And there are two ways to trigger it. One is the API way, the other one is the cron way. So if you have used any website or ran any website, you know cron jobs are very important for you to have scheduled jobs that will do certain things. If you are into ETL, this is also quite helpful. So this is just very simple. All I have to do is click a bunch of button, which I'll exactly show you how to do that. But for now, the workflow has been done. So technically at this point I should, yeah, I got the email here. So the, if I open the email here, so you can see that I've got uh, the Samsung Galaxy A05, Samsung Galaxy A06, Samsung Galaxy A05S. So I've got a bunch of phones with price range like 300 dirhams, 400 dirhams, uh, 500, 287 dirhams. So everything below $1,000, but it's almost like below $500. So how did I build it? So this is a platform called on demand. So they've got an agent marketplace. I'm going to show you starting with the agent marketplace. If you go to the agent marketplace, you can see probably an agent for any use case that you've got. For example, let's say you want perplexity to do research. So I can just search for perplexity and then you've got a perplexity agent. So let's say you want to do a research about us stock. So I'm going to say us stock. And once I search for us stock, you are going to see an agent. That is uh, exactly okay. Let me search for it. So if I so yeah, you've got an agent here that does exactly US stock technical analysis. Or let's say you want uh, an agent for YouTube, so you can search for YouTube, and uh, you have a YouTube agent. And the best part here is that because this is going to be a marketplace where anybody can publish an agent, you need to be sure that the agent actually works and it is a good agent. So they've got something like a play store and an app store. So you can see the ratings here and you can see where it is trending and you can see how many people are, how many conversations have been built on top of the agent. So you get an idea that whether you should use this agent or some other agent. So this is like a true agent marketplace. And you can also publish your own agent. So you can go click create an agent and then you can build your own agent and publish your own agent. And uh, this is the revenue sharing plan that I was discussing about where probably in some time. So when you publish an agent and the agent becomes extremely popular, everybody is using it. You are going to get a revenue share very similar like publishing apps on App Store, like uh, Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Now that you have seen agents, let's include an agent in our workflow. I'm going to just go see perplexity and perplexity is already added to my workflow. So that's why you see the into mark. So what you can do next is you can go to something called a playground and you can select the agent you want. You can click add and select whatever agent that you want. I've already added perplexity agent here. And then I went ahead and then asked the question, who is the CEO of Twitter? And very similar, like the reasoning models that we have got, 
it actually creates a plan it analyzes the prompt and then it executes the plan so you can see i asked who is the ceo of twitter it created a plan and then analyzed it it used agents to retrieve the information and finally said the current ceo of twitter is linda uh, this is hard to read she was appointed i mean everybody thought elon musk is the ceo but okay there is actual ceo there she was appointed uh, as the ceo in may 2023 replacing Elon Musk she was previously at NBC Universal so you can see all this information the best part about this playground is if you want to let's say host it yourself let's say you did all these things um, but you have a platform server where you want to host the code and then have this uh, run so all you have to do is go click get code and you select the programming language that you like and once you select the programming language that you like click get code all you have to do is make two changes one is the API key change and the second one is the external user id everything else is set for you so the agents that we were using are all available as plugins here and uh, the question that we asked uh, you know exactly where to go submit the question and you can see that only thing that you have to do is replace the api key external user id and then you are good to go with the platform so in this case we have done everything within playground but that is not what we are here for we are primarily here for something that i am quite excited about which is called agent flow builder so i'm going to show you how you can build your own automation on top of agents without writing a single line of code so i'm going to click create workflow and then uh, you you can you can select like either cron or api i'm going to go ahead with cron select connect these nodes then select the model endpoint so you have got the gpt4 turbo gpt4 o but the best part here is that you can also bring your own model so if you see here so there is a bring your own model section so imagine you work for a client and you build your custom fine tune model for them you can use that model as an endpoint and use it within your agent workflow so i'm going to use what is already available here so let me edit the model uh, edit the workflow so i'm going to go ahead with gpt4 o or i can go ahead with gpt4 turbo whatever the model that you like gpt4 let's go ahead with now there is a fulfillment prompt the fulfillment prompt basically sets the conditions or the tone or the role of what the agent or the workflow is supposed to do in this particular case so i'm going to say you are an agent designed to find leads and contacts which is something that i was building before so i'm going to say you are a research agent and your responsibility uh, is to create a bulleted report on um, the given topic um, i'm going to give question and then see and uh, and um, make sure you are professional okay this is the only requirement i've given it's almost like hiring an intern and then i'm going to give a simple prompt and before i give the prompt i'm going to add two agents here so i'm going to add a perplexity agent and i've got a keyword research agent so ideally i want the the workflow to decide like the agent to decide which agent that it has to pick and then use i'm not going to explicitly say i've got an output here i can connect it so but i have to give a prompt in this case i'm going to say i want the research about um, attention in transformers okay so that is what i wanted to research about and then i can select a final delivery so the delivery you've got four options a slack webhook if you have got a website you want to listen to it you can web, web, use webhook but if you are designing it for a client who is using slack then use slack but in my case i'm just going to go ahead with email mention my email one little coder at gmail.com save it hopefully um, i don't have a demo course run and uh, it opens a console type setup here as you can see here so far it has not failed so that means probably i've done something correctly and it is starting to do its job so what it is going to do is it's going to use the agents that we have given it is going to pick the right agent and it is going to do the research for us at this point it has successfully delivered a uh, successful and i've got the response here i'm going to open it here it says introduction to transformers attention mechanism self attention and it has got the beautiful bullet points just exactly like we wanted now imagine you want to build a newsletter company all you have to do is build a single workflow here that literally emails your clients every single day or probably you can get it to you and then forward it from there and everything could be automated the entire knowledge consumption could be automated imagine you are building it for a ceo like a very rich person and you want to see uh, like like look through the entire internet and see when somebody is talking about them and then send an email 
I think the potential is quite immense. Like there are multiple different things that you can do without even having to write a single line of code. But like I said, if you know to write the code, then you can copy, paste it, run it locally. But for now, this is quite amazing. You can select the name. I'm going to call it a uh, Plex as the perplexity CEO calls Plex research research agent. And I'm going to just go ahead, save it. That's it. As simple as that. Now I can go to my agent workflow builder and you can see I've got my agent. You can activate it. That means you can, uh, you have the two options that you ha had, the trigger options, API or cron, and then it will just work. So in fact, if you set it up as cron every one hour or every two hour, every single day, it is going to do the same task for you without having a human being. And all these things are possible within only one platform. You don't have to jump between platforms. And the best part, because you're watching this video is you're going to get $150 worth credit. And I would strongly encourage you to click the link in the YouTube description to go get the $150 credit. Let me know what you feel about this entire automation workflow platform. I can probably make more videos showcasing you different use cases like maybe a shopping agent, maybe a research agent, maybe a newsletter agent, maybe a job applying agent. Uh, everybody has been like, I was listening to the Greg Eisenberg podcast and recently somebody came and said, I can pay hundreds of dollars for somebody to just book a flight for me. We can probably try to build a flight booking agent. There are a lot of things that we can do. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about it. Thanks to On Demand for offering $150 for our kind subscribers. See you in another video. Happy prompting.